like the uh, mule who entered the Kentucky Derby, I know I probably shouldn't be here, but I sure like the company it lets me keep. <laughs> President Hunter, we all bask in the glow of those candles on your cake. Believe it or not, we too were young once, though I know that strains the very limits of your imagination. Indeed, fatherlessness can be a problem even in a home where the father is present, eating and sleeping, so to speak, by remote. But that is a priesthood message for another day. <laughs> I've wondered if someone this morning might be wandering from sea to sea, running to and fro, as the prophet Amos said, wearied by the pace of life in the fast lane or in trying to keep up with the Joneses before the Joneses refinance. Things went from bad to worse until finally he was imprisoned and made a laughingstock among the people. Angry that he'd been so mistreated and maligned, Jeremiah vowed, in effect, never to teach another lesson, whether that be to an investigator, primary child, new convert, or, heaven forbid, the 15-year-olds. But as the years have gone by, we've learned many lessons beyond those of youth. That, for example, Noah's wife was not named Joan of Arc. And <laughs> I pray for him, and I've cried with him, and I'm immensely proud of him. We've talked long into the night, lying on his waterbed, a 20th century aberration, which I know, as part of the punishment of the last days, will... <laughs> will one day burst and wash the entire family helplessly into the streets of Provo. That's... 